Hi, are you Mrs. Endocrine? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. My name is Sally Krukenberg. I'm a physician assistant. You can call me Kruk for short. What brings you into my office today? Okay, thank you for seeing me today, doctor. I have been feeling fatigued and weak. Let me make a quick correction. I'm a physician assistant, not a doctor. Getting back to your signs and symptoms, for how long have you been feeling this way? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, nurse, for letting me know the difference. I can't seem to remember exactly how long I have been feeling this way. It seems like it was 27.5 days ago. My memory these days. Again, I'm a physician assistant. Not a nurse. Not a doctor. A board certified and licensed physician assistant. Do you understand? I just don't understand what you are getting at here. Doctor. Just call me Krug. And I'm a physician assistant. Can you remember any other symptoms that you may have experienced? I can't poop. Which causing me to have abdominal groans. And I was barfing my brains out earlier. It also feels like my arms and legs have been hurting, like a deep bone pain. I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like you had a rough month, and we will try to get you feeling better here soon. Tell me, Mrs. Endocrine, have you taken anything for your symptoms? Yes, I have been drinking excess coffee. You know, that pumpkin coffee at Dunkin' Donuts is amazing. But the coffee hasn't seemed to help. I have also tried taking aspirin for my arm and leg pain. Let me recap what you've been feeling for the past 27.5 days or so. You've been tired and fatigued, having difficulty remembering things, bone pain, and constipation. It sounds like to me that you are having the classic signs for hypercalcemia, with the bones, abdominal groans, psychic moans, with fatigue overtones. Have you had any recent problems with kidney stones? Why, yes I have. In fact I brought this in with me. It came out when I peed. Oh wow, that looks like a kidney stone. Let me check on your lab results. It looks like you have too much, too much calcium in your blood. And your parathyroid hormone is elevated. So what does that mean, physician assistant Kruk? Basically that means that you have too much calcium in your blood, instead of in other vital organs such as your bones. The main cause of hypercalcemia is elevated parathyroid hormone. Based on your lab values you have high calcium and elevated parathyroid hormone, which leads me to believe that you may have something wrong with your parathyroid gland. We need to get you to the hospital to have you put on fluids and calcitonin. They will also run a few imaging studies such as an electrocardiogram to determine if your heart rhythm is normal. And a scan of your brain to make sure that there are no other causes for your symptoms. Do you have someone here that can take you to the hospital or would you like for me to call an ambulance? My scooter doesn't get good gas mileage. So I would like for you to please call an ambulance. Okay, Mrs. Endocrine, I would like for you to lie down on the couch until the paramedics can get here for you. After we get these conditions treated, you will be feeling much better. Please follow up with me after you are released from the hospital. Any questions? Am I going to die? No, I did not say that. This must be your confusion from the hypercalcemia. Mrs. Endocrine, you will be feeling much better after they can rehydrate you and can figure out the cause for your symptoms and hypercalcemia. Okay, thank you physician assistant Krug.
I will check back in with you when I am released from the hospital. Thank you again for seeing me today. It was my pleasure, Mrs. Endocrine. I will call an ambulance for you right now, and I will be seeing you after your workup and treatment at the hospital. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.